Marion, congratulations on your win. How Thank does it you. feel? It feels incredible. I feel like I've been given the stamp of approval. <laughs> Did you see this coming? No, it was a huge surprise. Yeah, I was in a chemist buying zinc and my <laughs> phone rang. Uh, my husband and immediately I thought, who's dead? Because nobody rings anyone anymore. So I said, hello. And he said, hello, author of the year. And yeah, no, like it was a huge surprise. That is the loveliest way to find out good news. Yeah. I absolutely love that. Um, aside from getting news like that, what do you think is the best thing about being a best-selling novelist? I mean, the connection, I think, with my readers, because I always felt like such an oddball, like such a disconnected weirdo. And just by writing about people who have those characteristics, I've been able, like loads of people have said, oh, that's me, and that's me, and that's me. So it has kind of taken away that feeling of being kind of uniquely defective. And, you know, I love stories. Like, I always did. Like, it was my first way of escaping the world, like, from very young. And it's just very nice that I'm allowed to do this for a living. It's incredible. And I'm sure so many people are so grateful that you've done that. And, and uniquely defective is one of my favorite phrases now for the rest <laughs> of time. <laughs> um, I, the thing about the British Book Awards is that they, they exist very much to honor authors and writers, but they also exist to honor the whole process of publishing and the yeah, whole it, machine that goes into creating books like yours. And you obviously have a really important and long-standing relationship with your publisher. Can you say a little bit of, about yeah. that and why it's important to you? Yeah, I mean, I have the same, I've had the same publisher, editor, for the past 27 years. Um, and that's rare in publishing. And I've only ever had one agent. And between the two of them, Jonathan Lloyd and Louise Moore, they've made my career. Yeah. You know, and my publisher, she's, she's very high up now, but she has always let me write what I want to write. Instead of kind of going, well, the market is really kind of going towards psychological thrillers and that's maybe where you need to be. You know, she's never done anything like that. Like she's let me write my stuff. And that's, again, it's rare. And I'm so grateful for it. That's so lovely. And uh, it's sort of in that same vein, um, in terms of new writers who are starting out, who are you know just at the beginning of, of the kind yeah. of career you describe, you've been incredibly vocal about and supportive of new writers. And uh, I know so many are so grateful to you and grateful for your support. Why is that important to you? I mean, like I love reading, like I love books. I just think a reader and a book, it's just the most wonderful relationship. And like, if I like something, I want everyone to know. Like I never kind of decided I was going to become this kind of like crusader. It's just, I have a Twitter account and I enjoy things. Like it's not just books, like it's, it's, it's sweets and telly shows as well. <laughs> but then, I mean, I love reading what young women are writing because I think I learn so much about how we feel politically, you know, how we feel about our bodies. You know, I will read first novels more than anything else because I get sent a lot of stuff now. Mm. And that's what I'm looking for. Like, I'm interested to know kind of how feminism is in in the 20 somethings, you know, because it's different. I, I, I mean, I have so much admiration for younger women because I get they're, they're far more courageous than I ever was. So, like, I read out, honestly, for pleasure. And I like a lot of stuff. It's incredible, and they're all so lucky. Did you have a champion like that when you were starting out, do you think? I'm really sorry. It sounds incredibly bitter. Because, and I, I don't feel at all, but there wasn't anyone. But that's fine. Well, it's that's fine. I got bitter, published anyway. Why. Yeah. You know, it wasn't like I tried loads of people and they said no. Like, <laughs> it just it didn't even occur to me that you could do that. Well, it's just unbelievable. And I think the other space that's really I don't know, grateful for you and really pleased to sort of have you on their shelves is obviously bookshops. And, and we're championing bookshops endlessly here. And I'm just wondering if you have a favorite bookshop. There's one in Dublin called the Gutter Bookshop. Um, in fact, and there's an even smaller one in the next suburb, suburb along from me. Um, I live in Dunleary, there in Dawkey. It's tiny. It's fantastic. Um, and it's just really nice. It's very personal. I can ring them and they'll post stuff out to me. Um, it's just very hands-on and they'll get things in for me if they don't have it on the shelves. You know, you're not going to get that 
from other places. Other places to yes. remain <laughs> nameless. <laughs> Final question for you, Mary, and then I'll let you go. Is just how do you plan to celebrate tonight? Um, I don't drink, but I love sugar. So uh, some something, yeah, a lot of chocolate, I'd say, and maybe some Percy pigs. I've already had several Percy pigs. Yeah, I'll be awake all night. It's fine. That's the best thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. It's been lovely talking to you.